Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. Today we will learn about the new functionalities that we have introduced in the Attributes panel. Let's select a material in the IPR and take a look at the header of the Attributes panel. We will see how under the thumbnail there is a new combo box where we can change the class of our material. This will allow us to easily switch between different material types. For example, Let's turn our glass material into plastic and see how its properties change accordingly. Let's now change the material to plastic coated and see how the coating roll-up shows up. In plastic advanced other new roll-ups show up, such as transmission and subsurface scattering. If we change to metal our material takes the properties of a metallic surface. At the bottom of the attributes panel we have added a new function that will help you clean up clutter from the UI. This button hides or shows rollups that we tagged as extended. This way, you can conceal the least frequently used rollups in your materials unless you really need to edit those. If for example we change to a standard material and click the reveal extended rollups button we will see how a bunch of not so frequently used rollups show up. Let's now add a bump map to our lamp. We will pick a pattern map from our library. As you most likely already know, all you need to do is drag and drop from the library and select the target slot. Once the map is applied we may set some repetition with the master repeat attribute in the UV transform rollup. If we now select the root material in the IPR we will see how the attributes panel displays the material structure for us to easily navigate through. We may for example click on the bump node, or on the texture we just dropped to edit their attributes. If we for example click on the texture we will see that it is a file text node. Let's try some other map classes, such as noise, cellular or checker and play a bit with their properties. Back in the material, we will change it to glass and see how the bump map we just edited is preserved as expected. If we make changes in the material's child maps, those will be persistent regardless of the material class. Let's try with the Ganesha sample scene now. If we select the sculpture's material we will see that it is a plastic with some textures applied on. With the new Tree Explorer in the Attributes panel you may easily navigate through its structure. Let's switch to plastic coated and see what a coating layer looks like. Let's now switch to metal. The textures will be preserved, while the appearance of the material changes. With metal coated we get a coating roll-up for us to edit. Let's try with the round edges sample scene. We can explore the structure of the selected material in a very visual manner. For example this material features a bump node and a round edges node. We may select the round edges node to change its radius. We may select the height map and edit its repetition in the UV transform rollup. Thanks to the new tree explorer we won't lose track of the root material we are working on. We believe that these new features will greatly increase your comfort and your productivity when creating images in Maverick. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.